So I slept in a bit this morning, and when I woke up I found that Ella and Gil were already working on the pooper, so I'm going to bring them some watermelon and get to work. Hi. Hi. Would you like some watermelon? Yeah. So this is where the pooper's gonna live? There's gonna be a second freezer, right? Yeah. We need to get it. Ella has all the drawings. Oh, so cool. We need four and a half pieces of plywood. This door has a built in window to it that looks roughly like this. It's got a, a branchy handle. So it's going to be six foot wide at the edge and eight foot tall at the peak. And it's six foot this way, seven feet this way. Can I go with you to Acorn today and pick up a freezer? Mm -hmm. Cool. We're not thinking about insulation yet. We are thinking though that we could do it, but it's funny because we have warmth generation that comes from here. Right, your butt will be warm. Well, no, it's insulated box. Yeah, but when you open the lid. Oh yeah, it's gonna be 100 breeze. degrees in there. Oh my God, so your cold butt comes out from the snow. Take your pants off, you sit down, and condensation. I don't like condensation on my butt, even if it's warm. Oh my God, you could actually have icicles off your butt. That's cool. So my phone is ringing, and we are about to get in the car to go to Acorn to pick up some chest freezers to continue making the pooper. It's gonna be a fun time. All right, we're going. This one and that one. And the one that says gently open. <laughs> That's got all of our cups in it. I'm gonna go take this one outside. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your freezers. <laughs> but now, how am I gonna get? <laughs> gonna have to go around. Oh, okay. Okay. And so Gil is going to get the truck. And he's gonna back it in, and then we'll have one freezer in the truck bed, and then we'll go get the second one. Gil is so speedy. While I'm setting up camera angles, he's already onto the second fridge. Seriously moldy. Amazing. Gil is rearranging the freezers so that when we drive very fast, they don't fall down and destroy themselves and us. They do fit side by side. They have a, the slight disagreement going on with the wheel wells. If you want help, I can stop filming. I'm gonna set the camera to oh. Okay, we did it. Freezers have been acquired, so now we drive back to Cambia. So we're back at Cambia. Gil is backing up the truck so that we can unload the freezers. Okay. We have to go through the wood shop. It's gonna be tight. So we have the two fridges in place. There's one, there's the other. The next step is to go buy some lumber. We're gonna do that tomorrow, so stay tuned for Freezer Pooper Part 3. 